Hi again, Amber. Alicia Watts' family says that this vigil is about celebrating her as the sweet and lively person as she is and about leaning on each other as a community in this hard time. And I spoke with Nora Bowman. She's one of Watts' relatives, and she explained that uh, Watts is widely appreciated because she's so engaged in her community despite her busy life as a business owner. Anything we ask her to do, she try to carve out time in her busy day, you know, to get things done. And, and she was really just an asset wherever she went. Now Watts lives here in Moore County, but her family tells us she often travels to Charlotte to see relatives and friends. Her family also says the Charlotte home she was last seen at on July 16th on Pamela Lorraine Drive belongs to her boyfriend. Authorities say her car, a black Mercedes, was then found 60 miles away last Tuesday and that her boyfriend, James Dunmore, was found unresponsive inside. It's unclear what is Dunmore's condition at this time. The Charlotte Mecklenburg police say they believe she was on her way to Moore County at the time that she you went missing. Now the vigil happening here at this center on West New York Avenue is starting in just over an hour at 7. Amber, 